I'm working on an app for content creators and hockey fans. The first two features will be Guess Who and Random Player Generator. With Guess Who, you can click on a player to mark them off, you can reshuffle the players on the board, or you can even share the link with a friend and they will get the same players. The Random Generator is pretty self-explanatory, but there are some filters that you can add to make the cards that pop up more specific. You can even modify what shows up on the card for different challenges. The link is in the description if you want to try. Let's get to it. So let's start out by drafting our centers. We have the filter on. Let's randomize and see who we get. Dvorak, Harkins, and Barrett Hayton. I think I gotta go with Barrett. And let's run it back. Who is going to be our second pick? It is... Barbashev? Also, I will have you know that some of these players probably do play more than one position. And I'm just going based off of what the NHL API gives me. The penultimate center pick, we get Nico Heischer. That's a good one. All right, Nico, welcome aboard. The final centerman joining the squadron will be... Oh, yeah. You already know it's Seb. Time to draft some left winger. So let's go ahead and change up the filter here. And also... I'm going to, from now on, start choosing a player before it reveals. For centers, I wanted to have a good base, but for this, who knows? We could get anybody. So I am going to go with the far right card. So we miss out on a Hoaglander, a Kreider, and... I said far left. I meant far right, but I said far left. So we don't miss out on Hoaglander, actually. Now I'm questioning myself. Maybe I did say far right. You know what? Whatever. I'll edit it in post, and by then I will know whether I have Hoaglander or VC to add to the team, because I'm recording this first and then going to do that, so... I have one of them. Let's scoop up the middle card this time around. We miss out on a Harvey Pennard and we get a Zach Hyman. That is the best player on the board. You know what? It did me right. We're going middle card again. Engvall, no. Taylor Hall... Really, all those players are pretty solid. It would have been nice to have a Chucky. But alas, it was not meant to be. First card, show me the money. Vrana? Yeah, I'm down with that. You know what? I have a crazy one for you. So for right wingers, we are going to have no player image and no player name. I gotta go based off of their team, their jersey number, and position. Never mind, they're all right wingers. Let's see what we get here. Timothy Jimothy. Oh no. I don't know the other two. I think I'm gonna avoid San Jose. Do I want Timothy Jimothy or nah? Let's go for the New Jersey player. Just by showing their image, I should know who it is. Nope. <laughs> player name? Oh, it's Holt! I genuinely didn't even know what he looked like. This might come as a surprise to some people, but I don't know a whole lot about the NHL. Love hockey. Always have. Love the games. If you want, like, a deep analysis on players, I'm not your guy. Next set of players. We get number 13. Teen, what number is Valerie Nichushkin? Oh no, number eight on Vancouver. I don't know their numbers. Again, I could be looking like a complete buffoon here. I believe the far right is Mr. Con Smythe himself. 13 doesn't seem right for Nichushkin. I don't think it would be JT Miller. Don't think he wears that. I'm going with the Colorado player. Come on, show me the player image. And it was Nichushkin. It was Mr. Con Smythe. Connor Garland? Penultimate right winger. We get number 75 on Toronto. That should be... Wow. I should probably fix that. I know for the guess who, I made it so there can't be duplicates. I could probably just copy the logic over. But you know what? Either way, give me Ryan Reeves. Yeah, we take that. New set of players. Number 62 on San Jose. Number 7. What number does Everly wear? 41? I don't even have a good guess. Like, if I had to throw a name out there, I would say Sorelli. But I don't think that's right. I'm going with the Seattle player in hopes that it's Everly. And it is. I still don't know who that is. LeBanc? And never would have guessed that in a thousand years. For defense, we're just going back to normal. And you know what? I'm actually going to take two defenders per thing. So we only randomize it three times. To start off, give me the left and the right. Amazing start. Don't know who that is. For the next one, I'll take card two and three. So the middle and the right. We're missing out on Borgen, but we get Mikola and Falk. Great jersey number, Falk. I'm sure I'll have said it at some point in the video, but yeah, this isn't released yet as of when I'm recording this. So there's obviously still some things I need to work on. But 
I do plan to make it publicly available. For the final two defensemen, give me the first and the last. So we get that guy and yes, Quinn Hughes. That's massive. Last but not least, it is goaltenders and I'm going for the middle card. Kachekov, we get Gus. And David Riddick will be the last one, so I'm fine with that. For the very last one, far right. Helberg, no. Kemper, no. And Riddick again? I think we're going to be a pretty good team, but I definitely want to see what the chemistry looks like and also the handedness of the defender. So let's go put it together. Something about going into franchise mode without doing a fantasy draft first just feels so wrong. Almost as wrong as me thinking I took Hoaglander. No, I did take VC. I don't know how I said I'll take the right card and then two seconds later was like, no, I said I'll take the left card. I don't know either. Well, anyways, thanks to technology, I know which player I did take and it was VC and he's on the team. So I'm up to the regular season here and then we are going to go see if we have any chemistry. So the interesting thing about our squad is that we're actually cap compliant. So this is a very valid team. Momento of truth. Edit the lines. What do we have here? All right. I had to basically just do a custom league, but absolutely not, jabroni. I started up a custom league and just simply added a 33rd team. So obviously the division names and stuff are going to be all wacky, but I can't be bothered. I don't know how I feel about Taylor Hall being on the first line. I kind of want to move Hyman up because he'll be a power forward. Taylor Hall is a playmaker. And then Everly can be the first line sniper. Sebastian Ajo, two-way forward, but he's basically a playmaker. Our second line looks really good like that, even without Hyman, so. I think it's better to put him on the first line. Very great third line as well. And the fourth, just let him run wild. We only have ice time allocation of roll three lines anyway. Defense I'm slightly concerned about. Okay, chemistry is fine. I'm surprised this is only a plus three. But yeah, we drop off in overall real quick. Second pairing, we have a sub 80 player in Nico. But we'll make it work. Last but not least, our goaltenders, Philip Gustafson, the Gus Bus, 84 overall, backed up by Riddick. I think we should be a good team. Sebastian's gonna get the most points with 82. I think he's gonna be exactly point a game. And I say the team gets 43 wins and we make the playoffs. Let's simulate. Kick off the season with a 4-3 win against the Boston Bruins and we got humbled real quick. We just ate an entire humble pie against the Minnesota Wild. And the Bruins come back to beat us 4-2. Brutal. Yeah, so, oh. Corey Turner. Nah, I'm fine. I could actually see Quinn Hughes having the most points on this team, especially because he's playing with Miro. Wouldn't rule it out. Five game winning streak. Let's keep it rolling here. Okay. The brawlers are on fire. Yet somehow we're still fifth in the division. Clearly our division is just insane. We got the... No, we don't. Okay, so it is changing very quick here. But the Golden Knights are miles ahead. They have a 10-point lead already. Okay, this is really good. We went on a pretty good tear there. Of course, we lost the last two. But before the trade deadline, we were doing pretty good up until those games. Let's keep our trading block and enter just to see who's available. But again, we are sticking to our squad. Allmark would be wonderful. No. Magnificent. Brodeen, Spurgeon, Couturier... Bobrovsky. All right, get me out of here. I would like to exit, actually. Certainly, we're going to have more than 43 wins. So I think I was wrong on that regard. But I feel like I still could be right points-wise. Yeah, we're already at 46 wins. 47. Wow. Holy crap. Was that a 50? Did we just have a 50-win season? No, it was 49. Okay, so 49 was counting that last game. The Knights that are golden had a big fall-off because they were like 15 points up in the division. And now we finished with two less than them and Winnipeg only one. We finished third in the entire league, actually. So we had one, two, three. That is insane. At 19th in the league with a record of 40, 34, and 8, the Edmonton Oilers weasel their way into the lofts. Seb did lead the team and he had more than I thought he would. Even our goaltending was was pretty good. A 915 from Gus, 908 from Riddick is totally fine for a backup. It would be Bucky, however, with the most wins, beating out Gus by four. And he had a 918 save percentage. Great job by Connor. What do you think you're McDavid or something? Of like stopping instead of scoring? Holy crap! 111 from Adam Fox, 96 from EK, and then both the Quinn Hughes are here, but. The actual Vancouver Quinn did better. Although Fox was close, he did not get the Art Ross because that belongs to Pappy who got 116. And did he also win the Rocket Richard? Yeah, so 
A decorated season for us on. Let's take down the Jets. You know? Sounds like a good idea to me. That is not what we're... Okay. All right. We were down bad. And we really pulled it back. Let's see if we can keep up this momentum. Nope. Kinda hate that. The Stanley Cup belongs to the Boston Bruins. This man's a playoff machine. Seven points in six games, and he was on the third line. Taylor Hall, point a game. Hayton with four points. What happened to our first two lines? I mean, I guess Taylor Hall, but still. Gus was Swiss cheese. 878 save percentage, a 466 GAA. That is... Offside. Not really a lot of help from our defensemen either. Allmark had an insane playoff run. A 936 save percentage. Nearly a flat 2 GAA. Just give him the consmite. Come on. Josh Norrissey had 20 points in 22 games, which is very solid. He was a plus 7. 14 pims. What a goon. Now this is crazy. Rantanen had 25 points and Landeskog had 23 in 16 games. He had... Four more than the person who played four more games than him. If they don't give this con Smythe to Allmark, I'm gonna lose it. Because of the nature of this franchise mode, there's only two trophies. We got the Presidents and the Stanley Cup. Matthews gets the Art Ross, but the heart goes to Kane. Wow. They are not in sync. Norris and Lady Bing go to Adam Fox. Better gets the Calder Memorial. The Consumite goes to Brad. Are you kidding me? Andre gets the Vesna and the Jennings. Pareko grabbing the Masterton. Jack Adams worthy season for Marlowe. Ryan O'Reilly gets the Selkie. And then we have Kane with the Lindsay and Pappy with the Rocket Richard. This is a unique playoff screen. I guess it has to do with the custom league because you can have up to 48 teams, I believe, and have more teams make the playoffs. So it probably also goes to that side and you can kind of scroll back and forth. Well, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you. If you could leave a like and subscribe, that would be fire. If the app is out and published to the World Wide Web, then I will have the link in the description and you guys could try it out. As always, I appreciate you and I'll see you soon.